This PFD has too much flotation, said no whitewater swimmer ever. Hey guys, my name is Zim. I'm doing reviews on river gear there's not a lot of information about. And today we're talking about the high float PFD from Force 6. It's called the Rescue Ops. It is a rescue jacket. I took the harness off because I don't use it. But there's no options out there on the market for high water jackets that aren't rescue right now that I know of. So if you've gotten this far, you know the specs on it, 26 pounds of float, fits from a size medium to a 4XL. You more want to see how this thing actually fits. So on your back, you've got a reflective material. You have this nice hand harness or hand loop grab that actually buttons down to keep it out of the way so it's not an entrapment. You have molly everywhere. This is where your rescue harness goes into. And you have these molly on the bottom for you can buy uh, leg harnesses to attach to your life jacket to keep them sliding off the top, which I think is a great option. Not a lot of jackets have that option. Um, when I go ahead and put it on, I am 6'2", about 260 pounds for reference. It's got the clip on the bottom, like most jackets do, and then the two clips in the front, and the zipper goes over the clips in the front. So this is what sold me on the jacket. I think this is a brilliant idea and design, putting the clips under the zipper. It makes it flush when you're crawling into the boat. The, zip, the clips don't get stuck on anything, and it gives you doubled up security. I had a extra sport high float. This is a 22 pound float. This one, I think NRS basically copied it. And I came up from a, my first big swim in this jacket and the zipper was down to here. I freaked out. I thought that was the dumbest thing ever that a high float jacket didn't actually keep it up. So I ended up attaching this clip to it that clipped onto my whistle ring and that kept the zipper from going down. So it worked. I used it for a long time. I think now a lot of those designs put a little piece of like loop fabric here that the zipper slides into. I don't like that idea. It's, you have to put it in there. You might forget about it. And even then your zipper's just holding on by a little piece of fabric. I don't know. I, I think it's dumb. For high flow jacket, you want to be secure. You want to know that you're not going to have your jacket come off in the middle of a big, big rapid. So having this thing doubled up, zipper comes down. It's still not going anywhere. Brilliant. Love it. It's got a place for a whistle on the top. I just attach it to the molly with a key ring really close to my mouth. It's got some Velcro I don't have a use for as a recreational boater. You can get different colors of it. Um, and then it's got these two giant pockets, which online look bigger to me than they are when you actually see it in person. They're like, look at they come out, like they're like off the jacket. It's not. The top and bottom are pretty well flush. A little room on the sides, but you can fit a good amount in there. They have like the laser etched molly, so you can attach things to it if you wanted to, but it also drains. Got a couple carabiners in there. This is a great pocket for chapstick, keys. Uh, your knife could all fit in there really well. On the other side is where I have my flip line. Also, the fact that these are, you can get them from both angles with the zipper and it's not like on the outsides. Very good design. So, flip line's right here. It's a large flip line. It's like 16 feet. It's like it's actually two eighths combined. I'm not gonna go into why, but it works for me. So, large pocket for that. And then I keep my knife actually attached to the rescue harness strap that's under that pocket. And I just have it, the belt clip goes over the harness strap and it keeps it pretty tight. Uh, if I was really worried about it, I could put it in the pocket. I have room for it, but that's where I can reach it with both hands very quickly. So that's where I put it. Overall, it's not too bulky. Great maneuverability. You can see the back is not super bulky either. A lot of them get really, really big in the chest. So I can move around really well. Um, the two things I'm not stoked about in this jacket are one, the price, because you're paying for rescue. So you have the harness, you're paying for it regardless. But there's nothing else on the market. You have 22 pounds from NRS, and that's like the next biggest one. MTI got bought out by Mustang Survival, discontinued their high float, like 28 pound recreational jacket. So this is all that's really left, or the Mustang Survival, or maybe a few other ones. Um, so you're going to pay for it, but how much is your life worth? I think it was worth the money. I'm really happy with it. Uh, other thing I'm not loving is just the sides. They can tend to grab an oar handle when you're oaring and get stuck on them, but that's on a lot of jackets too. I got used to it, not a huge issue anymore. Other than that, this jacket is fantastic in my opinion. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. Uh, they keep raising the price on it, so I'm not even going to say what the price is, but you can check out their website. And uh, thanks for coming by. Check out the review. We'll see you on the water next time.